Hi again, I'd like to continue talking about mocking up your projects with Xcode. Um, in the last couple videos, we kind of built a few screens here, and uh, now what I'd like to do is I'd like to connect these screens together using, um, you know, segues and the navigation controller. And so let's let's talk a little bit about this and, and do a couple experiments here. Um, just so we get an idea of how this works. This is the kind of thing that doesn't, it's not obvious at first and it doesn't make sense when people try it out. Um, but once you get the ideas, it's really pretty simple and makes a lot of sense, right? Once you understand what's going on. Um, so right now I have this view here. Let's, um, and it's my, it's my starting view, it's this table view. So let's imagine I wanna create sort of a flow where you're gonna log in and when you tap the login, you're gonna go to the table view, and then when you tap on one of these cells here, it's gonna take you maybe to this profile or detail view, okay? So I've moved the um, this you know entry point here, I moved it over to the login view. So this will be our starting point, okay? And uh, then what I wanna do is I want to, to select the, the login button, and then I'll control click and drag or you can right click and drag to the table view controller okay and then it should say you know action segue show show detail present modally we're going to choose show okay because that's what we want to do so anytime you show a new view or you want to go to a new view it should be a show a modal um a modal view is sort of like asking someone a question in the middle of whatever they're currently doing, okay? So show means you're gonna go to a new place. You know, it's like turning the pages in a book, okay? Modal is like stopping a moment and asking a question, and then when that question is answered, you go back right back to where you were, okay? So I'm gonna choose show right now. And there is my segue right here, and you can see when I click on it, it highlights the button, so we know that this button is what's activating the segue. Let's give it a quick um, test. So here I am in the login screen, and when I tap login, it brings up the, uh, the table view. Now, you'll notice the table view slid up from the bottom, and that is a modal display. On the iPhone, when you have a view that slides up from the bottom and covers the current screen, um, it's a modal display. Okay, so this is not what we want, okay? And the reason it's doing this is because we didn't include a navigation controller. So if you don't have a navigation controller, then iOS doesn't know how you wanna display your pages, and so it uses a modal display. And really, uh, the navigation controller keeps track of the history. So without you know being able to track the history, then every view needs to be displayed modally because the computer doesn't know where to go next so it's like okay I'm just gonna put this one on top of the current view right so so anyway we'll do that um, and and you know it's not quite right so how are we gonna fix it right um, well what we're gonna do is and you know what I'll do is I'll just delete this you know you can just delete this thing well you could actually leave that here for this example but uh, I'll, I'll delete it and I'm gonna start over again okay now there's a couple ways to um, create the navigation controller you can create a navigation controller here um, from the object palette, so you can just drag one into the scene, right? And what it'll do is it'll bring a navigation controller with a view controller attached to it, okay? Um, the other thing you can do is you can select an, a view, a view controller, and then you can choose from the editor menu, you can choose embed in navigation controller. Now, if you remember, let me let me actually do this thing here with the navigation controller. If I grab this guy, you can see there's two views there. Okay, so it's a little hard to see here, but uh, there's these two views were just dragged in here. Here's my old view there, and then I just dragged in, um, you know, this navigation controller here. You can see it says navigation controller, and then that navigation controller is connected to this table view, right? So actually, I don't want the table view, right? What I want is I want this navigation controller connected to, to this other view here, right? 
So what I want is I just want the navigation controller by itself, and then I want it to start with the login view. Okay, so we can connect the two together like this. If you control drag from the navigation controller into the login view, you can choose from the menu here, you're going to choose relationship segue root view controller. Okay, and then we'll move the starting point over here, right? So now we're going to start here, and really what's going to happen, and let me resize this to the iPhone 6 size, right? So, uh, you know, if we're going to do this, what's really going to happen here is this navigation controller, it displays other view controllers, and this is the root view here. You can see it's got the special segue. And what the root, what it's going to do is essentially just put this view controller, imagine it being on top of the navigation controller, right? So it's going to ap appear there. And then when we click the login button to go to this next view, then this view will appear on top of the navigation controller, okay? So just one more thing. Um, you know, let's imagine we wanted to, you know, create this another way. I'm actually going to select the navigation controller here and delete it and delete it. Let's see if I can delete that. There we go, right? And, you know, let's imagine we were here and we don't have a navigation controller. You saw how I connected it, but another way to do it is this. If you select a view controller, make sure this is selected, right? It's got to have the blue outline. Then go to the editor menu and choose embed in navigation controller. And what it's going to do is it's going to do the same setup. So it's going to add the navigation controller and then connect the two with a relationship segue, okay? So anyway, so there we go, right? Um, so now we're all set up. I should make this the, the initial view controller. I kind of lost my entry point. So let's um, check the box here is initial view controller, and then that way this will be the starting point, right? So now, now watch what happens with the, with the navigation. Now, a thing to note, the navigation controller comes with this nav bar, and you can turn that off, but by default you get the nav bar, and the nav bar is actually kind of helpful because it includes a back button and uh, and a title and stuff, right? So remember before, we wanted to go from the login screen to the table view, so I'll control drag from the login screen over here and choose show. So that was what we did before, and then you remember before when we tapped this button, the login screen, or the, the, the table view slid up in front from the bottom of the login screen and covered it. Watch what happens this time. So I'll click play, or run, right? And, uh, and now here's our login controller, right? Our login view controller, and it's got the nav bar at the top. And when I click login, you can see it slides from right to left. And then the navigation bar says back up here, and I can click here to go back, right? So that's really cool, right? Because now we've got a history, right? So the navigation controller is what's keeping track of the history, and without that, you know, we can only do the modal display, right? So what else can we do here? Well, remember in the previous video, I connected one of these table view cells to this other view controller here. Well, let's do that again, right? What if I, you know, this first one right here, I'll control drag from here over to the other view and choose show, right? So you'll see now this view gets a view con uh, navigation bar at the top, and there's our segue right there, our show segue. And you can see the show segue, you know, it looks like a little arrow pushing from right to left, and this, it's a little different than the little barbell here for the relationship segue, right? So anyway, so let's test that one more time. So we'll, we'll run the app again. And uh, here's our app. And if I, you know, imagine I type in my username and my password there, and then I tap log in, and now I should be here at this view, and then I should be able to tap this cell and it takes me to the other view, and then I can go back and then back again, right? So that could be a pretty good way to mock up your apps. So we we can do better than this, but this is this is pretty good here, and we can do. Um, did I type assassins by accident? I mean, I just randomly typed that. That's very funny. Um, so anyway, uh, hopefully that's helpful, uh, and uh, you know I'm gonna I'll continue, and we'll talk about more interesting ways we can create navigation and how we can work with navigation and storyboard in the in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching.